Hello everyone, this is TJ Peaceful. Just wanted to give you guys an update on my uh, HHO separation device. Um, as you can see here, not much really has evolved from this device. I had about a week to, to ponder on it and uh, come up with some techniques to maybe increase the production using the existing setup. And what I've done is, um, per a couple of suggestions from, uh, from YouTube users, is I incorporated a screen um, between the two tubes, acrylic tubes, and what that did was um, it allows me to increase the gap uh, between the two tubes from the previous 1 8 by 3 8 inch long vertical slot to now, which I believe measures um, 3 16 uh, by uh, 3 quarters of an inch tall. So, um, uh, and the screen I'm using is plastic. It is not aluminum or stainless. Um, it's just a, a piece of scrap I had from uh, rescreening a few windows a few years ago. And I thought I'd go with this idea and see what happens, see if I can't increase the production uh, without increasing the solution concentration. Now what I've got here is um, I've got my uh, negative lead here and this is my positive so I'll get my oxygen from this tube and then the hydrogen of course again like the last video from this one. Um, I am using uh, a 12 volt battery. Apologize for that stop and trouble focusing the camera. Uh, like I said I'm using a 12 volt battery. Um, I'm reading approximately 11.67 uh, volts across it. That is a little low. And same concentration, same solution mixture. I'm using lye, or excuse me, uh, potassium hydroxide, just as I did before. Uh, the mixture is approximately a 4 to 1 ratio, four, um, three parts being um, filtered water and the other part being the uh, potassium hydroxide. Um, so it is, uh, I guess, a fairly strong solution. And let's go ahead and flip the switch and see what I got here. And oh wow, that's oh, that's really nice. I uh, hope you can see this. Let me see if I can zoom in without getting too fuzzy. Okay, I do have one concern. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it seems to be a lot more production going on uh, near the base of the two electrodes. But I'm thinking maybe uh, it's kind of hard to tell, uh, but there could be some um, contamination going on here, uh, meaning maybe some of the gases could be flowing from one tube to the other. I don't, on video, it looks like there may be, but off video, I don't I don't see it. Um, but again, I guess this is possible. Uh, let's see here, maybe I can... Uh, I don't know, I think that screen is diffusing it quite well. And as you can see, the production is, is much better than the previous video. Um, I am running at... Uh, it looks like two, oh wow, almost four amps this time. And before, I believe it was about, it was almost one amp, maybe 750 milliamps. And, uh, well, I've more than doubled it, the current going across the two uh, threaded rods. And, oh wow, uh, that is producing nicely. Um, I think what I'm going to do next is uh, maybe... Um, a few adjustments uh, regarding the, the size of the gap between the two tubes. Um, I think maybe I can increase that a little bit more. And I may even increase the gap between the two electrodes. I think I think now that I've got more solution running through there and of course more current now running through the two tubes that I can I can space the threads, threaded rods a little bit further apart and uh, alleviating the potential contamination of the two. Uh, but anyway, just wanted to give you an update and show you what I've been working on. And uh, thanks for watching.